What's up guys? I'm back with the Marvel's Avengers video and today I'm going to be covering the Panther King heroic mission chain that rewards you with an epic outfit, King T'Challa. So let's go ahead and get right into this. There are six main objectives during this chain and it's pretty simple to complete. First one is to complete the War for Wakanda campaign. Second, complete the Black Panther training chain. Third, complete seven war zones in the Wakandan region. Fourth, defeat 50 enemies with Black Panther's King's Mercy Heroic. Fifth, defeat 75 enemies with Black Panther's Bot's Chosen Heroic. And last one is defeat 15 enemies with light or heavy combo enders while Black Panther's Percussive Blast is active. So getting right into it, I'll show you guys what those abilities are. So the first one here is King's Mercy, and that is of course going to be your Assault Heroic ability. Next up is Boss Chosen, and that is Black Panther's ultimate heroic ability. The last ability required is Black Panther's Percussive Blast, and that is part of his intrinsic ability. Once you've completed the War for Wakanda campaign, you can go ahead to the Wakandan region on the war table and choose any mission you'd like to play. Of course, there's an event going on right now with the Corrupted Vibranium event, so it will lower that level down for you if you're not a high enough power level. Here, I'll cover from top to bottom on how to defeat those enemies in those specific ways. So here in the first one, I'll show you the King's Mercy Heroic. So just as simple as it sounds, just press your RB or R1 button to use your Salt Heroic and make sure you get 50 kills with them. There is another way that's pretty effective to do, and if you go to the Eastern Seaboard region and play the End War Back mission, as soon as you spawn in, there's literally a bunch of drones flying around, so you can just keep repeating that mission and tossing that spear as much as you want to. As you're completing that objective, make sure you're also using your ultimate heroic ability, so you're doing both of those objectives at the same time. As you see on screen, there are all those enemies just flying right out there, so it's a good opportunity to get those objectives completed when you play this. You don't necessarily have to if you don't want to keep repeating this over and over. Feel free to play any other missions, that's fine. I'm also pretty sure the harm room works as well, so feel free to try that one as well. Moving on to the light or heavy combo enders while Black Panther's Percussive Blast is active. As you see on screen, whenever your intrinsic meter is overcharged, just double tap RT or R2, whatever platform you're on, and it'll just do that explosive blast. And just make sure you are doing one of those combos so that it counts towards that. If this one took me a while to do, it's kind of challenging. Um, I do believe I seen that the knife daggers combo does work, like the range combo finishers. I think those work as well. I'm not 100% sure on that but feel free to try that one as well. A tip that I can give you guys is that as you're playing and you get gear that includes any sort of intrinsic burst, be sure to put that on because it is really beneficial to have in raising that intrinsic meter up at a faster rate. The next few footage here is just me performing the combos once again so you get a general idea of it. It probably doesn't look the best to be honest with you, but you know, I try to get something in there, so there's that. If you guys need any sort of help or have any questions, just please let me know down below in the comments and I'll for sure get back to you as soon as possible. One more thing before I leave off is that this mission chain appears to be a bit bugged out. It was for me and I've seen other people have this issue as well. And that's whenever you complete it, you don't get the skin rewarded to you. So apparently there's an issue going on with that. Hopefully everything gets fixed. And luckily on Reddit, I saw two solutions for that. One of them was to go to the campaign mode and from the war table, go to the Wakanda's outpost. And the second was to sit on the throne and the Wakanda outpost. So hopefully one of those options work for you. If not, we're just going to have to be in the same boat and just wait for a fix on that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.